Guys, the jungle update is here. If you didn't guess by the title, uh, Valve literally just uploaded, or the Team Fortress 2 channel uploaded a video called the Jungle Inferno Update. This is it. This is the official Team Fortress 2 update. The jungle update is confirmed. There was a lot of speculation about whether the jungle update would, of course, like, be, be a thing or not. It was complete speculation. Now it's confirmed. Um, the video, I must say, is great. It's, uh, it goes into detail about the Yeti and, like, the whole theme of the update and stuff like that. It's really, really interesting. I'll drop a link to this page and the video down in the description below that you guys can check out. But I must say, it's, it's made so well. Like, the voice acting is superb, as always. And the SFM animations are top-notch, literally. I can't, fa I can't fault it. Um, at the end of the trailer, there's a little hint towards the cosmetics that are going to be in the update. So, you know, drop in the comments if you'd like me to go over that. Maybe, like, go over each individual um, potential leak of the, the new cosmetics that are going to be in the update. As you can see, it's going to be split over four days. This is day one. Um, right now, as I'm making this, it's around midnight. So, maybe they're going to be doing it every day or maybe, like, every week or every half week. I'm not too sure. But I'm just going to be going over what's been released so far. Uh, just go into the nitty-gritty details with you guys. I'm so excited for this. I've been waiting for this for way too long. And it's finally here. So... One thing to note guys, I didn't actually think of this when I was initially recording, this is a four part update, I say this later on in the video, it's a four day update, the last time this happened was the Uber update in 2011, which was huge, so that means this update's gonna be a big one. Um, the Jungle Inferno video is the first thing you're going to see when you go on the site, and as I say, I recommend you check that out, it gives you some context towards the update, um, <clears throat> Saxton Hales featured, um, the, the sort of jungle maps, etc. A lot of things that I could go into in the video, but I'll just drop a link in the description below and let you guys kind of work it out for yourself. And as I said, if you guys want me to go over the cosmetics and stuff that are potentially going to be released that have been hinted at in this video, then I will do so. But as you can see, welcome to Mercenary Park. After a decade of dust bowls and gravel pits, it's time to pack your snorkel, find your flip-flops, and endure a series of painful yellow fever vaccinations to your abdomen because Team Fortress is heading to the tropics. Introducing Mercenary Park. Park, a new jungle themed disease ridden three control point map made in house by us so i'm assuming this is like the main map of the update as you can see there's a ton of pictures to go with it it looks absolutely amazing very very well made i really like how it looks there's different levels like outside um little like cavices um i love this as well like this sort of like uh design of like a, a it kind of reminds me of um the jurassic park kind of theme of like in the in the jungle with the scientific labs etc um, pretty cool, I really like this, I really like how the map looks, and so that's like the main Valve maps, as you can see, made in house by us, and then community maps that have been added, we've got one called Lazarus, I believe it's called, it's a King of the Hell map created by Void, um, Sedimentary, Sky, and Beta Pig, I, I probably said that wrong, and Stiffy360, as you can see, once again, obviously it's jungle themed, all of these maps are going to be jungle themed, very nice, this one seems a bit more outside based, a bit more sort of bright, um, <clears throat> this is obviously a King of the Hill map as opposed to, uh, Control Point. This is the main point, I'm going to assume, of the King of the Hill. I can imagine this being so hectic, like, so many different control, like, so many different, um, entry points, sorry. So I'm definitely really looking forward to that. We've also got this one called Moss Rock, which is an attack defend map made by, um, ASG Alligator Pear. I probably said that wrong. Uh, Dr. Spud, Thompson, Jake... XI sinks like the all these names you guys can read them for yourself I probably don't need to a UEAK crash etc um this one again is very obviously it's outside this one is an attack defend map so it's probably going to be a bit larger um a bit more sort of stuff going on. Either way, I love the way these maps look, guys. I don't know if it's just me. I really do like these. I think Valve made great decisions. This payload map is amazing. I had a quick look through this earlier. Uh, it's called Banana Bay. As you can see, uh, payload track running the entire of the way through. I can just imagine this being so hectic, man. Literally, I can just imagine so much going on. Um, I love this area. It looks almost like a resort with different caves and stuff, different entrances, and the payload track running all the way through. I love this. I can imagine so much stuff going down literally I'm, I'm just so excited guys i'm literally so excited for this um enclosure uh another payload map i didn't actually take a look at this one this one's pretty interesting though by the looks of it it's it's a payload map um i guess there there's the payload track <laughs> running through the middle of the map um once again there's just so much going on guys as you can see this one um it's it's kind of like a in, enclosed environment it's um almost like a, a zoo I, i'd say i don't know that's probably wrong but like 
it just looks amazing that's all i have to say it just looks so so cool um all these maps i just love them this one brazil a king of the hell map a king of the hell is personally like my favorite game mode and just look at this man they've got like the little bit under the point and entryways for the red and blue team just so much so much to look out for like oh, i can't wait guys so much going on like so many different entry points so many different buildings so many different flank points I just can't wait. So that's the main point. Very open. Um, that yeah, that's it. Um, a tropical wave of tidal taunts. So the video I made about the taunts is actually true. Like all the thumbnails that were supposedly leaked actually were true, and they're all here. So I'll, I'll just take a look at a, a few of the highlighted ones now. The Yeti punch, as I speculated, you punch through this wooden cutout of the Yeti in various different ways. You end up destroying it. I think it's so cool. All the different animations, man. The scout giving it a little punch, hurting his wrist. I think that's such a cool touch. Like I just love this taunt, man. This is probably going to be one of the taunts I actually pay full price for, as opposed to waiting until it drops. I'm going to buy this straight out the door. Um, out, out the, out, I have no idea what I was trying to say there, uh, as, as soon as it comes out, essentially, the Yeti Smash, um, this one, I wasn't too sure what it was gonna be, we could take a look at it now, your class actually turns into a Yeti, and pounds on his chest, I'm assuming it's different for each class, that's just the soldier's one, or maybe it's just a soldier exclusive, um, I'm gonna assume it is a soldier exclusive, because it only showed the soldier, the dueling banjo, I, I went through this one, it's just the engineer sits on a hail bale, and as you can see, he plays the banjo. That's all it is, he plays the banjo. I think that's so cool. Um, it's going to be one of those ones like the Rancho where he just sits there until you press space or another movement key. The Jumping Jack, this one is another um, engineer taunt. This one was actually by Winglet. I, I believe there was um, quite a few of them by like uh, no names left in sedimentary socks. It's one of the ones where you move around the map. Um, obviously, you're, you're using a jackhammer and just moving around. As I speculated, my uh, uh, guess on this one was right. But it is a workshop taunt, so if you saw it in the workshop, you probably knew this and the Soviet strong arm as predicted uh, he, he does a little trick with the dumbbells and then just starts curling them I think that's so cool it's gonna be another one where you just it lasts for as long as uh, like the engineer one where it lasts as long as you press space I'm assuming um, really cool a really cool taunt the Russian arms race I speculated it'd be a one-arm push-up and what a surprise, it's a one-arm push-up. Another great heavy taunt. I'm really excited to see this heavy taunt in. As there's like a, a kind of a lack of like heavy exclusive taunts that are actually like good. I can imagine these costing quite a bit. The head case is pretty serious. Uh, let's get serious for a second, folks, with this heartfelt tribute to cannibalism. And it's the pyro. He opens up a thing of the heavy's head on a plate. Sniffs it, says it smells beautiful. Fuego. Um, I love that. I think it's so cool as I speculated. Uh, just again, I, I kind of speculated a lot of these. Really cool. Ooh, honestly, I really do like this. And that's it for day one, guys. Now, I want to know, what do you guys want to see from day two, three, and four? Obviously, through the three days, there's going to be a lot of things added. Maybe new weapons, maybe new... Um, I'm not too sure, really. I'm really not too sure. Um, it's just like, there's just so much that could be released. Is the pyro update going to be, like, infused with the jungle update? I'm really not too sure. But, like, I'm just so hyped either way, guys. I'm really hyped. Like, I'm hoping that, you know, a lot of people were kind of, like, um, had their, like, expectations for the update to be really low and they really didn't like expect it to be good and a lot of people have supposedly quit tf2 um because of the lack of updates i'm really hoping this update can bring some of those people back and kind of not necessarily revitalize the game but definitely just bring more players to it because it's a big update as you can see it's not just going to be like a couple new cosmetics and new taunts there, there's new maps like this is going to be a big update and this is only day one guys there's three more days of of content basically three more days of um supposed jungle related updates so i'm hugely curious to see what it is i'm hoping the cosmetics are fire if you, again guys let me know down below if you want to see me actually go over the cosmetics from this trailer because i'll really quickly skip to it now for you guys you can see at the sort of end of the trailer you can see look a new hat right there um and when the pyro jumps down he's wearing like or, or she the, there's these little combat slacks this little jumper and the cap so the cap's going to be multi-class uh the pyro jet packs up like there's just so much to go into about that last like 30 seconds of the trailer um I, I'd just love to do that guys so as you can see mercenary park that's that's like the key theme so that's like the the valve map I'm just so excited guys so let me know your thoughts on the update down below what do you want to see from the update um 
if you maybe stop playing TF2 for a while and you want to start playing again because of the update, that would be fantastic as well because, as I said earlier, I think it would be great if this update not necessarily revitalised the game, but just brought those players that maybe lost, lost a bit of faith, brought them straight back into Team Fortress 2 and uh, back on the hype. So I hope you guys are as hyped as me. I'm going to be bringing so much content out when this update comes out. You guys don't understand. I'm going to be pumping out the content about the update. So do subscribe if you are new and you want to see more sort of jungle update related content. Guys, that is just about it for this video. Thank you again so much for watching. Um, I'm going to be streaming as well. So if you'd like me to uh, sort of go through this in detail on the stream, uh, do be sure to check that out whenever I do that. It should be t uh, tomorrow or the day after. And yeah, guys, thanks again for watching and peace.